Now at 6, another Oakland construction site goes up in flames, forcing residents from their homes. Firefighters facing intense flames, extreme heat, and a crane swinging out of control. Good evening, I'm Veronica Dela Cruz. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. The fire tore through a project at the corner of 23rd and Valdez Streets, two blocks from Lake Merritt. Dolan is following the investigation, but first, Simon Perez live on the scene with details on the fire and the evacuation still in effect. Simon? Veronica, it's probably going to be tomorrow or the end of the weekend before some 900 people who live here near the fire can get back into their homes. The big reason why? That crane. Cal OSHA says it's stable but needs to come down, and taking it down carefully could take a while. So until then, everyone needs to stay clear. Everyone is accounted for, all pets are accounted for. Even though this is what erupted at 4.30 this morning, about 80 firefighters showed up to try to knock down the flames. That scaffolding is four stories high. The fire had spread to the uh, elevator shaft on the uh, opposite side of the building, and once it hit that, it just took off. When we came out, the fire was like, it was crazy. As in crazy hot. National Weather Service satellites registered the heat rising from the scene at 900 degrees Kelvin. That's 1,160 degrees Fahrenheit. It was so hot, the crane at the center of the building started spinning. Cal OSHA says the crane is stable, but taking it down could be risky, so they're estimating 24 to 48 hours for the job. Until then, no investigators allowed on the site, and none of the 900 people who live nearby will be able to go home. Take a look at this. The crane is actually sitting on wood blocks. The fire department says they didn't burn because they're so big they need several hours of direct flames on them to catch fire. Also, lots of debris covered them up and protected them. Even as late as this afternoon, fire crews were still dousing hot spots. For all the carnage at the site, no one died, no one got hurt. This is not a ghost ship story, um, thankfully. So this building was set to be about 200 apartment units. Oakland City Council member McElhaney says that once the construction crews review the foundation and make sure it's stable, Veronica, they're going to start rebuilding. All right, Simon, we appreciate that. Thank you. Our KPX5 crews rushed to the scene and were there at the height of the fire all morning.